Alright, this is a romantic reading for Scorpio. We'll see how romantic it is. Um, <laughs> we have the Gypsy Witch uh, fortune telling playing cards I'm using today, as well as my tea leaf uh, oracle cards. We'll see what's going on with your love life and surrounding cards. Uh, whoops. Put that down. Put it down. Alright, um, let's see. We have number 34 with the star ensures success in enterprises when near, when very distant, some unlucky events. We have number 13. A snake indicates um, immunity and calamities, the degree of which is governed by the distance of the card from the person. So there is no person here. <laughs> so I don't think you're in any trouble of um, a calamity. There might be some um, misunderstandings. Um, there might be a few unlucky events, but as, as long as, you know, you kind of are aware that something may happen that's bigger than you think it is. Um, it uh, might be smooth sailing. It might actually be very small, but you think it's big at the time, you know, that type of thing. But you can handle it. It's basic problem solving. You learn that in school, hopefully. Maths. You can learn that in math. Okay. I think that's it. One more. More shuffle. I got all these too. Okay. Good. Good. Good job. Okay. Alright, we have dogs getting together with friends. We have bridge, successful overcoming a problem, like I said. As long as you know of the problem, you'll be able to fix it. Okay, good fortune with the beetle. We have December, so by December it should all be good. We have butterfly a change for the better. We have bread, we have a period of prosperity and abundance. We have uh, ant, work and achievement success. We have grasshopper, a situation in the balance that requires careful handling. We have gavel, we have involvement with the law. We have mountain road, you are on the road to success. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. We have bird perched, um, waiting for news, package or a letter. We have sunrise. A creative idea, new ventures, a fresh start. We have sun, we have happiness and well being. We have box, we have you will receive a gift. We have rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over. We have teapot, deep uh, friendship with somebody of the same sex. And we have target, a goal oriented person, it could be you or somebody else. Um, all right, let's see what your reading, your channeled reading has to say. We have rejection from a pressuring lover, um, reuniting passions, a new job or career, um, forgiving one another, moving on after a painful separation or dealings with a younger woman or male. Could be one or the other. Um, okay, so missing something in your love life, taking a partner for granted, increase in your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. We have attracted to a discussion facing problems, honestly, uh, communicating coldness, emotional issues, willpower, head rules hard rules heart, lack of empathy, stepping into a new experience. We have conflict between love, family, and outside options of love. You will be playing a, a different role. We have lovable rogues. We have 
uh, fearless, courageous lover, difficult to commit, rush, um, charming, shallow, daring, passionate, exciting liaisons, a new creative idea, new ventures, and a fresh start. We have learning a new language. You might be learning Spanish, <laughs> or you might be learning French or German or Italian. Um, or maybe Portuguese, too. A lot of European languages are coming through. You might also want to learn some uh, Oriental languages or um, ancient languages. I recently started trying to learn uh, Navajo. <laughs> Navajo has a lot of different phrased words for a lot of the same words that we use in English every day. It's like really funny. It's like to give a gift, to get a gift, to think about giving a gift, <laughs> to speak about a gift, or to negotiate a gift. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. Like, why? <laughs> why is this? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think Navajo is a lot of fun to learn. Um, it's, it's a bit of a learning curve for me because I have dyslexia, but it does help to... I uh, kind of remember root words and like stem words to particular words and verbs and things. It it does help, you know, because you have to see the um, whole sentence and then see like the the verb and the noun and the predicate. But yeah, I think it would be a good idea to learn a different language, um, especially in like a romantic setting. Um, it's easier to learn a language that somebody that you like speaks fluently. So then it's kind of like it gives you the excuse to talk to that person under the impression that you're learning and they're kind of like helping you out as a teacher. It's kind of that type of thing. It's kind of like a trust fall into a new language, um, which is fun. Okay, anyway, Scorpio, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. And got something out of it. Um, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone. And I will see you here in the next video. All right. Later.